This farm can give you unlimited ominous bottles. It produces 5 ominous bottles per minute or 300 ominous bottles per hour. And it's really cheap, simple, and easy to make. I mean, just take a look at this material. This is all you need to make this farm. I got some big news. I got a shout out from Voltrox. He's the one who makes simple tutorials without any voice, just music and text. So yeah, he made a raid farm tutorial and I got a shout out from that tutorial. And that raid farm is my design. It is incredibly simple. So if you want to check it out, then just look at this top right. Yeah. So yeah, that's the second shout out. And the first shout out that I ever received was from him also he made a tutorial on the simplest iron farm ever which is also made by me <laughs> it's incredibly simple so if you want to check that out then yeah top right again that tutorial actually got 1.4 million views which is absurd i wish i got i can get that kind of views you know but i'm just really happy that a lot of minecraft players saw that farm because it's incredibly simple it will help a lot of players a lot which is this channel is all about making complex farms simple so if you want to see more simple farms from me then make sure to subscribe i will just explain how all of this works so we've got this spawning platform here this is an area where the pillagers will spawn on this circle right here if there is a pillager on top of it then it can attack the iron golem you can see that it's not attacking because there is a vine that is blocking the view then yeah if it's on top of the circle it can attack the iron golem then we've got this fence right here that will stop the pillagers from shooting the iron golem and they will try to find the nearest spot where they can shoot the iron golem and that spot is right here they think that they can enter from these trapdoors here but but in reality they cannot really enter here so yeah, they, we are fooling them with trapdoors to fall into the lava right here. So this lava will kill the the pillagers and whenever we've got a banner guy, the banner, the banner guy can drop the ominous bottles and will be put into this chest right here. And we can FK through this scaffolding right here. You can see that there is an FK platform all the way up right there. We are on top of the FK platform and you can see that if we just zoom is that a cockroach? Oh my god, there's a cockroach! I'm fine. Yeah, let's just zoom in and you can see that the pillagers are going to the iron golem. And if you notice that there are no pillagers that is going into the corners. And that's because this is the perfect height to just spawn the pillagers inside the circle. So because of the height we are right now, we are just spawning pillagers inside the circle. But in Sanity, you did not clear this structure. It's hard to clear this structure because it's pretty big. So we just put some torches here to stop the pillagers from spawning. You can see that these torches are well placed, stopping the pillagers from spawning from every floor. We just cleared this floor right here because the pillagers need to see the iron golem. I actually tested this in night. It doesn't spawn any skeletons, it doesn't spawn any zombies or any other mobs except from pillagers. So, pillager outpost prioritizes pillagers than any other hostile mobs. Which is what we want by the way in this farm. We don't want skeletons, zombies or any other mobs to spawn in this farm. Because skeletons can shoot the iron golem from pretty far and spiders can climb up the walls. So I'll just stop chit chatting and let's go to the materials. These are all the materials that we need to make this farm. Just take a screenshot of it then let's start building. So the first thing you need to do is to find a pillager outpost that has pretty flat area. So we don't want big hills like this around it and as much as possible let's avoid water but this right here is the flattest that i can find so water should be fine for us and yeah just find a pretty flat area now secondly uh if you can find some iron golem inside the cages which we did not find <laughs> um just imagine that we have an iron golem here so we've got an iron golem here and let's just break these cages so that they can protect us while we are building because we are in a pillager outpost we tend to came, come across 
pillagers. So, oh, we actually got an iron golem here. Sorry. So yeah, just get the iron golem out and they will be a very big help for for us to make this farm. So first, I'm just gonna grab all my torches and let's go to the top, to the roof. And let's just put torches at the middle like so. Then let's just go down here at the top floor and let's put torches at the middle here and let's put a block and a torch yeah then to the other floor let's count one two three then from here let's count one two like that and you can see that there will be no light level of eight here we should avoid getting a light level of eight to avoid spawning pillagers then from here let's just put uh, torches onto this dark oak logs so now what i want you to do is to clear up any blocks that is in the way in a three block high manner i don't know what i'm saying but yeah just clear up the blocks of the pillager outpost that is in the way three blocks up yeah just just clear yeah, yeah just, just clear it just just clear three blocks high blocks you know what i'm saying you know what i'm trying to, to say I'm not pretty good at English and try to avoid hitting the iron golem because two hits from them will certainly kill you you can see that the iron golem is trying to protect us while we are building this uh, this farm so yeah having iron golems around will certainly help so I just cleared up the blocks here you can see that all the blocks that is in the way three blocks I are now cleared then now let's just go and find the middle so let's count one two three four this is the middle and let's just put a stone wall uh, surrounding the middle then now let's just put blocks like so in a t-shape and put the carved pumpkin and we got the iron golem inside then from here let's count one two three four five six seven 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 so let's just make a box of fences here Stop! Don't kill my iron golem! Stop it! So we just made a box of fences. Can you move Mr. Armadillo son? So let's just clear these fences and let's transfer it here at the back. So let's just put the fences here and let's put no let's put a block going up like this then slabs on top of it then let's put temporary blocks like that and put a trap door like so then let's just go inside and let's just put torches so one two three on every third block let's just put a torch so corner center corner center corner and center there we go so now let's just put a trap door here and starting from this spot let's count one two one two and yeah let's just make a three by three hole like so and let's dig three more blocks down so one two three one two three one two three then on top of the trap door here let's just put a hopper then chest like so then slabs like this and let's get a block and put rail on top of it on top of this then from here let's count one two three on the third bar let's just align to the edge of it then just push the hopper onto the slab to destroy the rails and let's just cover this back up then now let's just cover these blocks like so and let's just put some ladders here and put the trapdoor like this and let's put a trapdoor here 
and let's make sure yeah this is wrong let's replace this trap door and put it here so that way the pillagers will push each other and go into this hole right here then now let's just put a lava on the bottom like so it should have a space then the trap door now let's just grab the scaffolding blocks and the glass let's go inside this farm right here let's uh, go into survival then place all the scaffolding all the way up who's shooting me run 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 go 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 yeah just spam place the scaffolding until you reach to the top so I just uh, use all of my scaffolding and let's just go on top of here. So yeah, let's just go and place a block here and let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This 7 block, um, let's just fill it up with blocks like so. And if you don't want to die, if you don't want to die, uh, let's just get a slab and put slabs on top like so this will prevent phantom from spawning and it will stop lightning from you know striking us you can see that the villagers are now spawning but they are not seeing the iron golem let's just go all the way down Oh, uh huh. Our guy just died because they can go on top of here. Um, just make sure to not do that. Just make sure that there are no blocks on the fences because your iron golem will die. Rest in peace, Mr. Iron Golem. I am very sorry about your tragic death, but we need to summon another iron golem. Oh no! Oh, the chest! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Stop! Stop! Okay, yeah, yeah, just clear up the the blocks near the fences because it will, you know, kill the the, the the iron golem that we have in the middle. We just go all the way up to our scaffolding and let's just go to the platform. You can see that if we zoom in, all the pillagers will just go to the uh to the lava yeah that's what we want and to make this more efficient we need to clear up space so that there are more spaces for them to uh to spawn on so just get the wood you got from the pillager outpost while clearing it and let's count 28 blocks from the fence so one so one two three four five six seven eight 4, 25, 26, 27, 28. Then from here, 28 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26, 27, 28. So yeah, just mark the 28 block with wood and just do it to the rest of the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I just marked up all of the sides, and now let's just flatten the area out. So yeah, I'm just gonna place blocks here, here, there, and flatten the area there. And I'm gonna do that with fill commands. Just fill, air, replace dirt stone and grass block and you can see that i just dig out this area right here with just commands and yeah i'm gonna make the floor now then replace air it's actually satisfying to do that and now i just need to clear up the structures the the trees and this hill right here So yeah, we just cleared up the space and this guy needs to go. Thank you for your... So yeah, we just cleared up the space around it. And let's just go all the way up and test this farm out. 
um, let's just clear up the chest here. Let's just go down here and clear up this chest. Let's just zoom in and take sprint for 300 seconds and let's see how much ominous battles we can get from 5 minutes. Okay, it's done. It's done. You can see, yeah. The sprint is done. Let's go and change our FOV back. There are remaining pillagers here. So let's just stick. Sprint for 30 seconds. All the pillagers should go back to its... I mean, go to the hole. So yeah, let's just go into the chest and see how much ominous battles that we got. <laughs> We've got 5 plus 5, that's 10. Plus 11, 21, plus 5, 26, plus 3, 29. So 29 times 12, 29 times 12, we got 348. So in 5 minutes, we got 29 ominous bottles. You can get 348 ominous bottles in one hour. So yeah, we, we can get 300 or more ominous bottles from this farm. I'm sorry if I cannot speak properly right now. I need to change my voice. And that's because I am a bit sick. I've got the runny nose disease. Yeah, one like, one prayer. If you have built this farm, then make sure to press like on this video. My goal is to get 5,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me reach my goal, 5,000 subscribers, then please subscribe. And also, I will post the word download of this word in my Patreon. So if you want to download this for free, then check my Patreon out. And lastly, you need a raid farm to use the ominous bottles, so watch this video here. This will teach you how to make a raid farm. Yeah, bye!